All right, guys, welcome to lesson five. And here we are looking at HTML at the next step. So we've gone over all of some of the, you know, some of the basic tags and we're going to look at more of them later on. But um, let's look at how do we put in images in, onto our web page. So let's have a look here. If I go to the folder, this is my website folder, my root folder. You can see that I've got the index page. That's what I'm working with at the moment. And I've got an image here called logo.jpg. So it's a JPEG. It's called logo. And it's just sitting in the root folder where my index page is sitting as well. So I'm going to go and insert that underneath the Haynes Academy uh, heading. I'm just making space there so you can see it better. And the tag that we're going to use is the image tag, which is IMG. IMG is for the image tag. And then we go SRC, in other words, source. Okay, image source equals. And I'm going to use quotations so it's also easier to read. And let's go ahead and close that and close that. Now, that in a nutshell is the image tag. Now, what's missing here is the image. Okay, we kind of need to tell the browser that we want the image. Uh, where is the image? Well, at the moment, it's in the root folder, which is where this file is. So no paths to worry about. We'll worry about the next picture with paths in a minute. But I'm just going to type in logo.jpg. There it is there. So image source equals logo.jpg. I'm going to save this and let's see what does this look like when I open it in my web browser. So I'm going to refresh and wow, that's what happens. That's what loads. Okay, so there is the image underneath Welcome to Haynes Academy. There it is there. And I mean, it, it's working, but, <laughs> but the image is huge. It's too big. Okay, so we've got to like scale this down. So let's go back to our code. And this is the fun part, guys. Oh, before I carry on, I forgot to mention. Do you notice that image is a self-closing tag? Did you pick that up when I wrote that down? Image, the IMG tag, is a self-closing tag. So you don't open an image and close an image. So image is another self-closing tag. So, so far, that's HR, BR, and image. Now, in order to sort of get this picture to fit nicely on our page, you can see that we need to give it some more instructions. We need to tell the browser like, okay, listen, uh, thanks for loading the image, but I'd also like to have more control over the size of this image. And so we're going to use some attributes, okay? Attributes such as width and height. There they are over there. So I'm going to say, you know what? Let's take the width of that image and let's make it uh, 300 pixels. Okay, I'm, I'm just guessing here guys. Uh, this is very rough, so just work with me, okay? I think it looked like a square, so 300. Oh my word, my keyboard. 300 pixels, 300. so let's look at what we have done here. All right, look at what we've done, guys. So. I said image, open up the image tag, source, SRC, I told it what the name of the image was. So the reason I don't have to worry about any paths or folders or subfolders is because this index file is in the same folder as the image or vice versa. I also said make the width of the image 300 pixels across, make the height of the image 300 pixels down. So let me save that. Let's have a look and see what will it do now when I hit refresh. Ah, that is so much better. That's a lot better, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it really is. It really is. So that is what we call, see this width and height? We call those attributes or properties, okay? but the better term is attributes. So the image tag has various attributes and width and height are some of those attributes. And you'll get a, a page with all the different attributes anyway when you work through uh, the stuff for your exams. Let's go ahead and add another image and let's put one down. Let's put one down at the bottom maybe before the, the horizontal rule. So same process as before, IMG, SRC equals now guys pay attention okay this is important let's go ahead and look in our folder where our index page is located here it is here and the image that I want to insert is here inside the images 
folder or subfolder. So I'm going to open it up. There it is. There it's called classroom.jpg. Okay, JPJ. Classroom. JPJ. JPG. Sorry. Oops. Classroom.jpg. There it is. There. Now I got to remember this. Now remember when you are following a path. You remember? There it is. There. Let me just go to images. Check it out. Uh, HTML level two. Uh, Listen. Images. Okay, so it, there's a path to get to this picture, and the web browser needs to know what that path is. So if I switch here, and instead of just typing in, okay, classroom. Oh, let me just make it locate so it's exactly the same, so you can see what I'm talking about. Classroom.jpg. Okay. Now, if I loaded this like this all right i haven't told it to go into the images folder i've told it to just look for classroom.jpg let's see what it does okay i'm going to save the, the file refresh the file i'm going to scroll down to where the picture should be and you can see there is a broken image it's not loading well that's because it doesn't exist in the root folder it's in the images folder the subfolder okay so i need to tell the browser you know what go one level down to images and then look for classroom.jpg all right do you see how i did that images forward slash classroom.jpg in a computer and on a web server and in a, an operating system that forward slash that is how we use it for uh, folders okay so we separate folders and going into subfolders and subfolders so there you go so now let's have a look and see if i save that is it going to work and that is a good question so here we go save and holy guacamole it worked okay but yeah it's big it's really big okay so we're going to resize that okay using the attributes again like we did before so here we go i'm going to use some attributes and i'm going to go uh width i'm also going to learn how to spell width width equals 500 px now i think this picture was sort of more rectangular okay uh height equals 400 let's see <laughs> i don't know i don't know what it's gonna do let's find out save it and refresh oh that's not too bad that's not too bad okay cool so there you go guys that that's the world's worst website but you get the idea i'm just teaching you how to insert things okay so here we go we got our logo jpg that was in the root folder and then we inserted classroom.jpg getting that right uh, which was in the images subfolder so have a look there if you need to you know freeze the screen just to have a look at the code have a look at that but i will also make this available to you in your notebooks and there you go guys that is how we insert an image the most important thing though please the spelling guys the spelling counts okay spelling does count you miss out an s or an o or an l or whatever um yeah it's not going to work okay spelling is very important i don't think it's case sensitive from what i remember but spelling definitely counts so please be aware of that so if your image is not loading check the spelling also check that it is in a subfolder or not depending because here you can see we didn't have a subfolder here we do and it's got that little forward slash so do you see that is how we insert an image and I will have an activity for you to do now. But